this is Leone here. Today we're going to learn how to round numbers using a number line and using a step-by-step -step method. Rounding numbers to the nearest 10. Sarah hit a baseball 64 feet into the outfield. Round Sarah's hit to the nearest 10. This number line is counting by tens. We can see that 64 is greater than 60 but less than 70. What number is halfway between 60 and 70. 65. Is 64 closer to 60 or is it closer to 70? We see that it is less than 65, so it is closer to 60. 64 rounds to 60. Now let's use the step-by-step -step method. First, when you round the number, circle the digit you want to round to. Since we're rounding to the nearest 10, we'll circle the 6. Next, look at the digit to the right of the circled number. If the digit to the right of the circled digit is less than 5, keep it the circled digit the same and change all of the digits to the right of the circled digit to zeros. 64 rounds to 60. Now let's try rounding numbers to the nearest hundred. Jaden ran for a total of 473 yards last football season. Round the total number of yards Jaden ran to the nearest hundred. Again, we're starting with number line, but this time we'll count by hundreds. 473 is greater than 400, but less than 500. What number's halfway between those two? 450. Next, is 473 closer to 400 or 500? I can see here on the number line that 473 is greater than the halfway point of 450. So 473 is closer to 500. Now let's try the step-by-step -step method. We're going to start with the digit four, since it's in the hundreds place, we're going to circle it. We're going to look at the digit to the right of the circle digit, which is seven. Since it's five or greater, we're going to increase the circle digit by one. And we're going to change all of the digits to the right of the circle digit to zeros. 473 rounds to 500. Let's try one more example. We're going to round numbers to the nearest 10 again, but this time it's slightly different. The Purple Panthers scored 135 points. Round the number, total number of points scored to the nearest 10. This is a three digit number, but I'm not going to be rounding to the nearest 100, it's to the nearest 10, so be careful. On the number line, I'm still counting by tens. I know that 135 is greater than 130 and less than 140. What's in the middle of the two? 135. Now this is interesting. When it falls right on that halfway point, what we do is always round up. So 135 rounds up to 140. Now let's try the step-by-step -step method. Again, look at the digit you want to round to and circle that. Here it's the three. We're going to circle the three in the tens place. To the right of the circle digit is a five. If it is five or greater, you increase the circle digit by one and change all of the digits to the right of the circle digit to zeros. 135 rounds to 140. So let's review. When you round a number, circle the digit you want to round to. Number two, look at the digit to the right of the circle number. If the digit to the right of the circle number is less than five, do not change the circle digit. However, if it is five or greater, increase the circle digit by one. And finally, change all of the digits to the right of the circle digit to zero. 